Hello everyone, Brendan McCauley with Humanum Project. We're back doing question and answer on our YouTube channel. So if you have any questions about our identity, sexuality, relationships, leave it in the comment and we'll get around to it. For today's question, someone, the person who asked wants to remain anonymous, and it is, what is modesty? What is this virtue, modesty, that both men and women are called to? I think modesty gets a bad rep. Like, we think modesty is, you just gotta cover up from head to toe because your body and sexuality, it's just temptation to sin. You should be ashamed, cover up. <laughs> that could be farther from the truth. And I think so often, a lot of us are raised with that mentality about modesty, or that's what we've just heard about modesty. You know, I was just in Big Sky, Montana, giving a presentation on theology of the body and the dignity and beauty of the human body. And I'll never forget this 58-year-old woman who attended asked a question afterwards. She's like, can I just tell you all something? I never heard this before. I was not raised hearing that the body is good and holy and beautiful. I wasn't raised this way. She's like, you wanna know how I was raised? She's like, I went to an all women's Catholic high school. And when I was a freshman, we had Catholic sex ed. And the first day of Catholic sex ed, priest walks in to teach us. Very first thing out of his mouth was, ladies, it is all your fault if you get the boys excited. It's all your fault. And she's just like, what? So she grew up believing that my body, the beauty of my body, I just got to cover it up and I should be ashamed of it. She's like, I felt like I was just guilty. This is not modesty. And this mentality is so wounding. We cannot blame the body, which is good for the problem of lust. What is lust? looking at others as objects, treating others as objects, right? I think so often women in particular are just told, you gotta cover up because it's all your fault for the boy's lust. We should not say that the body is the origin for the sin of lust. What is the origin for the sin of lust? It's in the human heart. So we, we can't blame the body. The body's good. The body has a value. That is why we veil it. That is why we keep it covered. We veil, we cover up that which is most holy and sacred. Why did the Jewish people cover up the Ark of the Covenant and veil it? Why do we as Catholics veil the tabernacle? Because it's that which is most holy and sacred. But we don't veil it forever. We don't just keep it hidden, keep it covered forever. There's a proper time, manner, and place to then unveil that which is holy and sacred. So when it comes to our sexuality in the human body, we dress modestly, we cover, we veil because it's so holy. But when is the right time, manner, and place to unveil it? It's when another person will say, you know, if you're going to expose yourself in your nakedness in this vulnerable way, I'll never leave you, aka marriage. When's the right time, manner, and place to unveil that which is holy, the human body? The wedding night, when you're married. So what does the catechism say more when it comes to modesty? The catechism of the Catholic Church says, modesty protects the intimate center of the person. It means refusing to unveil what should remain hidden. Listen to this. This is, I think, the key point to modesty. Modesty guides how one looks at others. So in other words, how we dress will guide how other people view us. The Catechism goes on to say, teaching modesty to children and adolescents means awakening in them respect for the dignity of the human person. Okay, I wanna focus on that one line though, that modesty guides how one looks at others. So we first talked about that modesty is dressing in a way that protects the, the beauty and dignity and value of the human body and human sexuality. But it, the catechism is also saying we should dress in a way to help others see us according to that value and dignity. So I was at Washington State University as a campus minister for a couple years. And a big discussion we always had was just, you know, why do some 
people on Greek row and the fraternities and sororities, you know, why do some of the women dress in just like bikinis walking up and down the street on Friday night? And we were thinking and we were thinking, and we were like, you know, I think they want to be seen. They want to be pursued. They want to be desired. And all of those are good desires. But if modesty is the virtue of dressing in a way that guides others to truly be attracted to you as a person. Immodesty is the opposite. It doesn't guide others to see you. It guides others to see just parts of you. To where maybe if a guy is going after a sorority girl, she might be thinking or feeling like he likes me and desires me. I don't know, but sadly it might be he just wants parts of you for his own selfish lust. And so we got to be careful and we should all be asking the question when we dress, what am I trying to convey? What am I trying to reveal? Am I helping others to see the dignity of me as a person made, made in God's image and likeness or am I not? And so I think that's something that we all should reflect on. So I hope this was helpful for you all. If you know anyone who might enjoy this video, feel free to share it with them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Would love to hear your thoughts. God bless.